Hello and welcome to another episode of I Wonder. Today I wonder what an MRI is. So the hydrogens in your body act like tiny magnets because you have an uneven number of electrons in the hydrogens. And right now all of these hydrogens are oriented in random directions, meaning that your body has a um, net magnetism of nothing. That's why you're not a magnet. But when you get put into the MRI machine, all of the um, hydrogens face the same direction because they act as tiny magnets. And so that is the magnetic part of MRI. And so how do we get any imaging out of that is dependent on the resonance. Resonance is vibration. And so when you hum or sing, hmm, you are resonating. It is that resonance that we can image because when you put the hydrogen in the giant magnet and apply a radio frequency pulse to it, all of the protons will now be oriented in the transverse plane. And when you turn off the radio frequency pulse, they will return to the resting equilibrium state. That return to the resting equilibrium state is called relaxation. It's like little tiny tops. If you spin a top, it'll spin like this, and then it'll get slower and slower and slower. We call that precession, and then it'll fall over. And the time that it takes to relax is a constant, and we can weight the imaging of MRI towards time constant number one or towards time constant number two. You don't need to know all of that. All you need to know is it is resonance and relaxation after turning off the energy pulse and the return to the standard equilibrium that allows signal intensity to be generated. And that we can image with a magnetic resonance imaging. It is imaging of resonance in a giant magnet of your tiny magnets. And that is MRI.